Good morning children, this is in exercise 8.2, eleventh sum, if a vector is equal to 2i cap plus 3j cap minus 4k cap, come on, b vector is equal to 3i cap minus 4j cap minus 5i cap and then c vector is equal to minus 3i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap, find the magnitude Find the magnitude and direction cosines. Find the magnitude and the direction cosines of, there are two subdivisions. Find the magnitude and the direction cosines of A vector plus B vector plus C vector and 3A vector minus 2B vector plus 5C vector. There are two subdivisions are there. We want to find the magnitude and the direction cosines of A vector plus B vector plus C vector. Then Again, want to find the magnitude and the direction cosines of 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 5c vector. It is our a. Okay. Here, uh, we want to find the magnitude and the direction cosines. See, for example, before learning this sum, we need the basic. Suppose, for example, a vector is equal to i vector plus j vector minus 2k vector. For example, if a vector is equal to i vector plus 2j vector minus uh, 2k vector. And uh, one can, instead of this vector, one can write cap also correct because this cap denotes unit vector. Sir, so, okay. Let a vector is equal to i cap plus j cap minus 2k cap. We want to find the magnitude and the direction cosines of a vector, for example. Find the magnitude and the direction cosines of a vector means magnitude is nothing but, very good, modulus. That is, magnitude means modulus a vector. Okay, modulus a vector equal to good square root of square root of say magnitude magnitude of a vector modulus a vector is equal to square root of yes sum of the squares of i j k coefficients here i coefficient one so one the whole square plus of j coefficient one so one the whole square plus of k coefficient minus 2. So, minus 2 the whole square. Okay, simplification yourself, which is equal to square root of, okay, 1 square, 1, good, plus 1 the whole square, 1, plus minus 2 the whole square, yes, 4, because my square gives always positive, so plus 4. So, 5 plus 1, 6, that is root 6. Modulus a vector is equal to root 6, which is Magnitude of a vector is equal to root 6. One answer is completed. Next is direction cosines. We know that direction cosines is equal to direction cosines is equal to divide comma, divide comma, divide. Okay, now yourself already the, this topic we completed. Okay, next step, next step. Very good. Here i, j, k coefficients in numerator. That is i coefficient 1, j coefficient 1, k coefficient minus 2 divided by what is the magnitude? Yes, divided by magnitude, divided by root 6, divided by root 6, divided by root 6. That's all. So find the magnitude and the direction cosines of A vector means magnitude A vector is nothing but modulus A vector. Modulus A vector equal to square root of sum of the squares of i j k coefficients. Okay, next. Direction cosines of A vector. Yes, direction cosines of A vector equal to uh, say divide comma divide comma divide. Write in numerator ijk coefficients and the denominator the magnitude that is modulus a vector so which is the basic okay now okay now come to our question find the magnitude of a vector plus b vector plus c vector 
and the direction and cosines of a vector plus b vector plus c vector. Okay, magnitude is nothing but yes, modulus. Okay, direction and cosines is equal to yes, divide comma divide comma divide. Right, I check a coefficients of a vector plus b vector plus c vector in numerator and write the modulus value in denominator. Okay, first of all, we want to find the sum a vector plus b vector plus c vector. So that is important. First, you write the given data. Given data is a vector equal to, yes, a vector is equal to 2i cap plus 3j cap minus 4k cap. a vector equal to. Next, we need b vector. Okay, what is b vector? 3 minus 4 minus 5. That is, b vector is equal to 3i cap minus 4j cap minus 5k cap. Okay. Next is c vector. c vector is equal to c vector is equal to minus 3i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap. Okay. Now, I need a vector plus b vector plus c vector. Okay. a vector equal to b vector equal to c vector equal to which is given. Now, what we want to do? Yes. Add. Okay, adding. Add that's all. While adding, we get a vector plus b vector plus c vector. Okay, start your answer. A vector plus b vector plus c vector. Okay, which is equal to? This end for our convenience, we written i vector, first column, j vector, second column, k vector, third column. Okay. See, LHS addition equal to a vector plus b vector plus c vector. Okay, clear. Now, what is RHS addition? Good. Plus 3i vector, 3 plus 3i cap, minus 3i cap, cancel. Okay, what is the remaining? 2i cap. Very good. So, i cap. See, adding i separately, then adding j, then adding k. It is our aim. Okay, while adding, minus 3i cap, plus 3i cap, cancel. Remaining, 2i cap. Okay, come to j. Okay, very good. Here, while adding j, plus 3 plus 2. So, plus 5. So, 5 minus 4, 1. Whether uh, plus or minus, plus 1 or minus 1, yes, plus 1. Because big number before sign plus. Okay. 5 j cap minus 4 j cap is equal to plus 1 j cap. That is j cap. Simply j cap. Okay. Next, we come to k. Ah, oh, very good. Here, minus 4 minus 5 minus 9. Minus 9 plus 6, which is equal to? Yes minus 6 k cap okay addition is completed okay addition is completed again verify plus 3 minus 3 cancel so 2 i cap and uh, 3 plus 2 5 5 minus 4 1 and uh, minus 9 plus 3 is equal to minus 6 big number before sign minus okay right okay come to again question find the magnitude of a vector plus b vector plus c vector means what yes modulus very good modulus Modulus a vector plus b vector plus c vector, which is equal to good square root of square root of yes, sum of the squares of i, j, k coefficients that is, which is equal to 2 the whole square plus of yes, i coefficient 2. So, 2 the whole square. Next step, good 1 the whole square plus of yes, minus 6 the whole square. Next okay, now you will which is equal to square root of. Yes, 2 square, 4, plus 1 square, 1, plus, good, square gives always positive, so plus 36. Now what is your addition? Good, root 41, because 36 plus 4, 40, 40 plus 1, 41, which is square root of 41, whose left hand side is, that is uh, modulus a vector plus b vector plus c vector. Magnitude of, it, it is nothing but a modulus means magnitude. So magnitude of a vector plus b vector plus c vector is equal to square root of 41. Yes, we are in correct answer. Magnitude completed. Next, we want to find a direction cosines. And there are two subdivisions. First, let us write which is subdivision 1. Listen, subdivision 1, magnitude completed. Okay, for the same subdivision, we want to find a direction cosines of a vector plus b vector plus c vector. Which means, direction cosines of... See, direction cosines of a vector plus b vector plus c vector. Okay, which is equal to? Good. Which is equal to? Divide, come on. Divide, come on. Divide. Okay, what is the numerator? Yes. Numerator, i, j, k coefficients. That is 2, 
1 minus 6. 2, 1 minus 6. Okay, what is in denominator? Ah, yes. Denominator, square root of 41. So, divided by square root of 41. Next, yes, square root of 41, square root of 41. Yes, which is first subdivision completed. Okay, come to third sub second subdivision. Okay, this is subdivision 2. Subdivision 2, to find the subdivision 2, first let us find the 3a vector, then minus 2b vector, then 5c vector. After we want to add in these three, we will get a total. Then a magnitude of this one and the direction coefficients of this one, same model. Here differs by the coefficient. First is subdivision a vector plus b vector plus c vector, where coefficient 1, 1, 1. But here the coefficients are 3, minus 2, 5. So coefficient only differs, but the method is the same. Now come to the topic. First term, consider the first term. Yes, 3a vector. First I want to find a 3a vector. Okay, 3a vector is equal to. Already a vector equal to, but now I need 3a vector. 3a vector means, yes, this a vector fully multiplied by 3. Third term. Okay, start your answer, 3a vector. That means 3 to solve. Yes, good. 6 I get. 6 I get. Next, we are multiplying 3. Don't forget, multiplying 3. So this a vector fully want to multiply by 3. Okay, third table, that is 3 to solve 6 I get. Next, 3 3 solve. Yes, 3 3 solve 9. So plus 9 j cap. Next, 3 4 solve 12. Yes, minus, minus 12 k cap. Okay. First time 3a vector completed. What is second term? Yes, minus 2b vector. b vector is given, but I need a minus 2b vector. That means uh, minus 2 multiplying all the terms of i j k. Okay, start. Here, that is second table, simply second table. Okay, keep the figure in i cap. Yes, 2, 3, solve 6. Minus into plus minus. So that is minus 2b vector is equal to minus minus 2b vector. It is a b vector. But here minus 2, minus 2b vector is equal to 2, 3, sub 6. So that is minus 6 i cap. Minus 6 i cap. Okay, next. 2, 2, sub 4. Minus into minus? Yes, plus. So 2, 2, sub 4. So plus 8 j cap. Plus 8 j cap. Okay, come to k. That is again second table. 2, 5, sir. 5, 2, sir. 10. Minus into minus plus. So, plus 10, k cap. Okay, completed. First term, 3a vector. Second term, minus 2b vector. What is third term? Yes, 5c vector. Now, I want to find a 5c vector. 5c vector equal to. Yes, c vector is given, but I need a 5c vector. That is 50 table. Okay, start. Yes, 5, 3, sir. 15. So, plus into minus, minus. Minus 15, i cap. Next, 50 table. 2, 5, sir, 10. So, plus 10, j. Plus 10, j. Next, 50 table. 5, 3, sir. Yes, plus 15, k. Plus 15, k. Okay. Now, I want to add or subtract. Yes, just add. Add. While adding, what is the LHS addition? Yes, that is 3A vector minus 2b vector while adding plus 5c vector okay which is equal to yes listen first column i cap second column j cap third column k cap what is i cap addition yes here plus 6 i cap minus 6 i cap cancel what is remaining yes minus 15 minus 15 i cap next day what is j total j total yes 27 j because 9 plus 8, 17. 17 plus 10, 27. So plus 27, j cap. Okay, next k. k means here uh, that is a minus 12 plus 10 equal to? Yes, minus 2. 15 minus 2 equal to 13. Plus 13 or minus 13? Yes, plus 13. So plus 13, k cap. Okay, addition completed. Addition completed. Now, say 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 5c vector is a vector. That is one vector. Okay. Now, we want to find magnitude of, yes, magnitude of this vector and the direction coefficients of this vector. So, it is a Okay. Here, I tell yourself. 
yes modulus that is is in modulus 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 5c vector modulus 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 5c vector which is equal to yes square root of square root of sum of the squares of ijk coefficients yes minus 15 the whole square plus of 27 the whole square plus of 13 the whole square okay start here that is minus 15 the whole square plus of yes 27 the whole square 27 the whole square okay plus of 13 the whole square okay here after we will see good 225 square gives always positive minus the whole square equal to plus that is 15 the whole square 225 plus 27 the whole square good 729 so plus of 729 plus of 13 the whole square yes 169 which is equal to addition yourself listen 9 plus 9 18 18 plus 5 18 18 plus 5 is equal to 23 so 23 3 remaining 2 so 2 plus 6 8 10 10 plus 2 12 so 12 remainder 1 that is uh, remainder 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 9 sorry 2 plus 7 9 and then 9 plus 2 11 yes which is magnitude of it is modulus is nothing but magnitude so magnitude of 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 5c vector is equal to magnitude ready now i want to find yes direction cosines now now direction cosines of direction cosines of yes 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 5c vector which is equal to good divide comma divide comma divide okay what is the numerator Yes, I check a coefficient. See, I check minus 15, 27, 13. Minus 15, 27, 13. What is the denominator? Yes, modulus value. That is magnitude value. So, divided by square root of 1, 1, 2, 3. Divided by square root of 1, 1, 2, 3. Divided by square root of 1, 1, 2, 3. So, which is the required answer? Yes, computer. Children, listen. 12th question from exercise 8.2 The position vectors of the vertices of a triangle are The position vectors of the vertices of a triangle are i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap comma 3i cap minus 4j cap plus 5k cap and minus 2i cap plus 3j cap minus 7k cap Find the perimeter of the triangle So listen, find the perimeter of the triangle Find the perimeter of the triangle, it is very Find the perimeter of the triangle. Okay, what is meant by perimeter of the triangle? Yes, sum of three sides. Okay, and before that, the position vectors of the vertices of a triangle. Here, the position vectors means what? Yes, points. Position vectors means points. That is, here, position vectors of the vertices given. Okay, position vectors means points. That is idea. Here, vertices points given. And the keyword is triangle. Okay. So position vectors of the vertices of a triangle. Position vectors means the points given. That is A is a point of, B is a point of, C is a point of. Which means here position vectors means with respect to origin O. That is important. Position vectors means with respect to origin O we have to take. So let A comma, B comma, C be the points whose position vectors given by OA vector comma comma OB vector comma OC vector so which is sorry position vectors means that is points and the position vectors means we have to take with respect to origin O that means let A comma B comma C be the points whose position vectors are given by OA vector equal to first one OB vector equal to second one and OC vector is equal to third one. Then perimeter means yes, sum of the three sides and the keyword is a triangle. So perimeter of the triangle is given by sum of the three sides that is A to B plus B to C plus C to A which means 
yes, AB plus BC plus CA. So that is segregate. Okay, first the key value is a triangle. Let us draw the triangle. This is in triangle. In triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, you can tell me A is a point of yes, vertices of the triangle given. Vertices of the triangle given. So A is a point of very good. 1 comma 2 comma 3. A is a point of 1 comma 2 comma 3. Okay. B is a point of yes, 3 comma minus 4 comma 5. B is a point of 3 comma minus 4 comma 5. Okay. C is a point of yes, C is a point of minus 2 comma 3 comma minus 7. So C is a point of minus 2 comma 3 comma minus 7. Yes. And the letter O be the origin. Now the position vector of A with respect to the origin O is given by yes, which is O A vector. Next. Position vector of B with respect to origin O is yes, it is O B vector. Position vector of C with respect to origin O is yes, which is O C vector. Okay. O A vector, listen, O A vector equal to I vector plus 2 J vector plus 3 K vector. O B vector is equal to 3 I cap minus 4 J cap plus 5 K cap. O C vector is equal to minus 2 I cap plus 3 J cap minus 7 K cap. So that is I here. Listen, now theory for same. Let O A vector is equal to. Already we have with it. First one OA vector, second one OB vector, third one OC vector. Okay, what is OA vector? Yes, OA vector is equal to I cap plus 2J cap plus 3K cap. Okay, similarly OB vector is equal to second one. That is 3I cap minus 4J cap plus 5K cap. Okay, next OC vector equal to OC vector is equal to minus 2i cap plus 3j cap minus 7k cap. Okay. OA vector, OB vector, OC vector ready. Now next step. I want to find three sides. That is, I want to find AB vector, BC vector, then CA vector. Cyclic order. Let us find AB vector, BC vector and CA vector. <coughs> After we want to, to find a perimeter, we want to find a magnitude. Okay. First step. Now, a B vector is equal to okay. A to B, B to C, C to A. Okay, A B vector equal to yes, O B vector minus O A vector, second minus first. For example, P Q vector equal to yes, O Q vector minus O P vector. Likewise, A B vector equal to O B vector minus O A vector. B C vector equal to yes, O C vector minus O B vector. Likewise, okay, A B vector equal to O B vector minus O A vector, which is equal to O B vector. First OB vector. Yes. What is OB vector? 3i cap minus 4j cap plus 5k cap minus of OA vector. OA vector is equal to 1, 2, 3. That is i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap. Okay. Now, ah, yes, correct. That is minus i here plus 3. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So 2i cap. Next, minus 2. Here, minus 4. So minus 2, minus 4. Totally, yes, minus 6. Minus 6, j cap. Next, minus 3, but plus 5. So 5 minus 3, yes, plus 2. Plus 2k. Okay. That is minus going to multiply inside. So that is why. And which is, yes, ab vector. A B vector is ready. Okay, next step. Yes, modulus, that is magnitude. Modulus A B vector is equal to. Now listen. Modulus A B vector is equal to. Ready? Modulus A B vector. See. Modulus A B vector is equal to. That is simply we can say A B also correct. Which is equal to square root of. Modulus A B vector equal to A B. Is equal to square root of yes. Sum of the squares of IJK coefficients. Listen your answer. Here, 2 the whole square equal to 4. Minus 6 the whole square, 36. 4 the whole square, 4. I think 36 plus 4, 40. 40 plus 4, 44. Yes, we are in correct way. Now, 2 the whole square. See, 2 the whole square plus of, yes, minus 6 the whole square. Plus of, 
2 the power square x tend to root which is equal to x square root of yourself yes 4 plus 36 plus 4 which is equal to square root of yes 44 which is modulus ab vector is equal to ab which is the first answer that is first side Perimeter means sum of the three sides AB plus modulus AB vector plus modulus BC vector plus modulus CA vector that is our A. Okay. Next I want to find yes BC vector. Now BC vector is equal to yes BC vector equal to yes OC vector minus OB vector. OC vector minus OB vector which is equal to OC vector. What is OC vector? Yes OC vector equal to minus 2 plus 3 minus 7 otherwise one can select here also minus 2 L. minus 2 i cap plus 3 j cap minus 7 k cap okay minus of so oc vector is ready now minus ob vector ob vector is equal to 3 4 5 that is plus 3 i 3 i cap minus 4 j cap plus 5 k cap Okay, complete, which is equal to, minus going to multiply inside all the elements, okay, minus itself, calculate, yes, minus 3i, minus 2i, totally, yes, minus 5i, yes, next step, minus into minus plus 4j, plus 4j, plus 3, so totally, yes, 7, plus 7j, okay, next step, minus 5, here minus 7, minus 5, minus 7, totally, yes, minus 12, minus 12 k cap which is bc vector bc vector is ready now i want to find yes modulus bc vector modulus bc vector is equal to bc which is equal to square root of square root of yes sum of the squares of i j k coefficients okay i coefficient the whole square minus 5 the whole square plus of yes 7 the whole square plus of minus 12 the whole square extend Okay, which is equal to square root of 5 the whole square equal to yes 25 plus 7 the whole square yes 49 plus of 12 the whole square equal to yes 144 okay now your addition is i think 9 plus 4 13 13 plus 5 18 so 18 8 remainder 1 so 5 9 9 plus 2 11 so 1 remainder 1 remainder 1 means 2 yes 218 because left hand side is modulus bc vector is equal to bc is equal to which is uh, now two sides completed similarly i want to find a third third side what is third side yes that is modulus ab vector modulus bc vector completed next i want to find a modulus ca vector to find a modulus ca vector first initially want to find yes first find the ca vector then modulus ca vector now we want to find the ca vector one can find the ac vector also correct no problem because we are finding distance okay let us consider in cyclic order a to b b to c c to a that is a ca vector equal to now we say now ca vector is equal to yes second minus first oa vector minus oc vector oa vector minus oc vector okay which is equal to oa vector OA vector is equal to I cap plus 2J cap plus 3K cap. OA vector is equal to I cap plus 2J cap plus 3K cap. Minus of, yes, OC vector. OC vector is equal to minus 2I cap plus 3J cap minus 7K cap. So minus 2I cap, minus 2I cap, yes, next step is plus 3J cap minus 7K cap. Okay which is equal to minus going to multiply all the elements okay start yes minus into minus plus 2i plus 2i here plus i totally yes plus 3i plus 3i okay minus 3 plus 2 minus 3 plus 2 equal to yes minus 1 that is minus j cap next step minus into minus plus plus 7k here plus 3k plus 7k plus 3k totally is 10k so plus 10k cap 10k cap okay which is what yes ca vector next i want to find is yes, magnitude of ca vector that is 
modulus e vector. Modulus e vector equal to square root of yes, sum of the squares of i check a coin p sets. Okay, first step. Yes, 3 double square plus of minus 1 double square plus of 10 double square. Okay, which is equal to square root of yes, 9 plus 1 plus 100. Yes, very good. So, 3 double square, 9 plus 1 plus 100. Okay, which is equal to yes, 110. That is 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 100, 110, which is modulus CA vector. Or one can find write a modulus CA vector equal to CA. Also correct. It is enough. Modulus CA vector equal to square root of 110. Okay. Now we are asked to find yes perimeter of the triangle. Perimeter of the triangle ABC equal to perimeter of the triangle ABC equal to modulus AB vector plus modulus BC vector plus modulus CA vector, which is the formula. Perimeter of the triangle. Perimeter of the triangle. Okay. Perimeter of the triangle ABC equal to yes. Modulus AB vector plus modulus BC vector plus modulus CA vector. Yes. Which is equal to modulus AB vector? Yes. Square root of 44. Plus modulus BC vector. Yes, square root of 218, 218 plus modulus CA vector equal to square root of, yes, 110. And uh, this answer is left at this stage itself. So, perimeter of the triangle ABC equal to root 44 plus square root of 218 plus square root of 110. So, which the answer is completed. Children, listen. Now, that is some exercise 8.2. Find the unit vector parallel to. Find the unit vector parallel to 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector. Find the unit vector. Find the unit vector parallel to. That is important. Find the unit vector parallel to 3a vector minus 2b vector plus a 4c vector. Okay. If a vector equal to b vector equal to c vector equal to given. See a vector, b vector, c vector given. Find the unit vector parallel to 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector. Okay. First of all, the keyword is unit vector parallel to unit vector parallel to a vector. Here 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector fully considered as one vector. That is sum of the three vectors is equal to a vector. Okay. First we want to simplify this term. Then we want to find the unit vector parallel to. Okay. Before that, we need the basic. So listen. For example, for example, a vector is equal to i cap plus a two j cap minus k cap. For example, okay. For example, to learn this one, we need this basic. The basic is suppose a vector equal to i cap plus a two j cap minus k cap. Okay. Now I want to find a unit vector parallel to a vector. Unit vector. Parallel to a vector is given by how to find out what is can you tell me the formula? Yes, very good. That is unit vector is given by denote by cap. That is a cap is equal to. Okay, a cap is equal to very good. A cap is equal to a vector divided by modulus a vector. That's all. Unit vector, unit vector parallel to a vector is given by the formula. A cap is equal to a vector divided by modulus a vector. Said so, okay. Suppose Suppose a b vector is given. What is a unit vector parallel to b vector? Yes, that is b cap is equal to b vector divided by modulus b vector. Okay, similarly, suppose a c vector is given. Say, what is unit vector parallel to c vector? Yes, c cap, very good, c cap. c cap is equal to, yes, c vector divided by modulus c vector. So, Unit vector parallel to a vector is given by a cap equal to a vector divided by modulus a vector. Unit vector parallel to b vector is given by, yes, b cap equal to b vector divided by modulus b vector. Unit vector parallel to c vector is given by, yes, c cap equal to c vector divided by modulus c vector. Similarly, now can you tell me, what is a unit vector parallel to this? Yes, that is, unit vector parallel to this is given by the formula, which is equal to, 
is given by write the same vector divided by s yes, modulus. Listen the technique. C cap equal to C vector divided by modulus C vector. C C C likewise. So here vector divided by modulus that is magnitude. So the unit vector unit vector parallel to this vector is given by the formula is given by the formula the same vector divided by its magnitude modulus value that is 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector divided by modulus 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector so it is our aim okay to find the unit vector parallel to this it is enough to find the vector divided by its magnitude, that's all, which is a unit vector. Okay, now, children so listen. First, a vector, b vector, c vector is given. First, you write a vector, b vector, c vector. So, listen. Okay, a vector is equal to Good. A vector equal to 3 minus 1 minus 4. A vector equal to 3i cap minus j cap minus 4k cap. Okay. B vector is equal to? Yes. B vector is equal to minus 2i cap plus 4j cap minus 3k cap. Okay. C vector is equal to? C vector is equal to 1, 2 minus 1. That is i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap. Okay. A vector, b vector, c vector is ready. Given. Which is the given? Which is given information. Okay. Given. But we are asked to find a 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector. So that is it. Now, listen. Now, let us find first return. 3a vector. <coughs> listen. 3a vector is equal to a vector is given, but I need 3a vector. Good. Third table. Third table means 3, 3s are 9 i cap. Okay. Next, third table. 3 into minus 1. Minus 3 j cap. Very good. 3, 4 are 12. So, minus 12 k cap. Okay. What is second time? Yes, minus 2b vector. Listen. Minus 2b vector equal to. That is second table. Minus 2b vector equal to. Uh, what is your answer? Yes, minus into minus plus 4 i cap. Next, 2 4 are 8. So, minus 8 j cap because minus into plus minus. Next, second table. Yes, minus minus plus 2 3 are 6. So, plus 6 k cap. Okay, come to the third term. Yes, plus 4 c vector. So, 4 c vector is equal to 4 c vector. C vector is given, but it is 4 c vector. Yes, fourth table. That is 4i four cap and 4 2s are 8. So plus 8j cap. Okay, that is fourth table. 4 into 1 minus 4k cap. Okay. Now, whether we want to add or subtract? Yes, I want to add. Okay, adding. What is LHS total? Yes, that is 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector. Good. Which is equal to? Listen. First column I. Second column J. Third column K. Okay. What is the first column total? Yes. 4 plus 4? 8. 8 plus 9? 17. So plus 17 I cap. Okay. Come to J. Very good. Plus 8 minus 8 cancel. What is the remaining? Minus 3. So minus 3 J cap. Okay. Come to K. What is your answer? Yes. Suppose here um, minus 12 plus 6. Minus 6. Already minus 4. So minus 10k. Minus 10k. So first, see, sum of three vectors is a vector. One vector is ready. Now, to find a unit vector parallel to the given vector, first we want to find? Yes, magnitude. Okay. What is magnitude of this one? is nothing but modulus. Okay, what is modulus value? Listen now. Yes, now. See, modulus, 
3a vector minus 2b vector plus a 4c vector. So modulus 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector, which is equal to square root of square root of yes, sum of the squares of i j k coefficients. 17 double square, 17 double square plus of minus 3 double square plus of minus 10 double square. So plus of minus 3 double square plus minus 10 double square, extent, which is equal to square root of. Okay, 17 double square, yes, very good. 289 plus 3 double square, 9. Plus 10 double square, whether plus 100 or minus 100, yes, plus 100, because square gives always positive. So 10 double square equal to 100, minus double square equal to plus. Okay, now total. Uh, what is your total? 9 plus 9, 18. Remainder 1. Remainder 1. So 9. Next day, third is it? 1 plus 2, 3. Yes, 398. Whose left hand side is? Modulus 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector. Okay, magnitude of this vector is ready. First we are finding total, then magnitude, then we come to the topic. What is the topic? The unit vector parallel to, write the question. See here, start here. Now, the unit vector. The unit vector parallel to. The unit vector parallel to. 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector is given by which is equal to what is the formula yes for example the unit vector parallel to a vector is given by a vector divided by modulus a vector likewise the unit vector parallel to 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector equal to yes write the same vector as it is that is 3a vector minus 2b vector plus a 4c vector divided by its magnitude that is modulus 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector. Okay. Now substitute universal. What is numerator? Yes. Numerator total. 17 minus 3 minus 10. That is numerator is given by 17 i cap minus 3 j cap minus 10 k cap. Okay. What is its magnitude? Yes. Square root of 398. So divided by square root of 398. Okay. Therefore, the unit vector parallel to 3a vector minus 2b vector plus 4c vector is equal to this answer. Yes, hence the answer. Children, listen. Now, 14th question from exercise 8.2. The position vectors a vector, comma b vector, comma c vector of three points satisfy the relation. 2a vector minus 7b vector plus 5c vector equal to 0 vector. Or these points are collinear. They ask the question. Or these points are collinear. Yes or no type. Yes, they are collinear or no, they are collinear. We have, we have to answer like that. Okay, again come to the question. The position vectors a vector, comma b vector, comma c vector of three points. Position vectors means points. Okay. The position vectors a vector, comma b vector, comma c vector of three points satisfy the relation 2a vector minus 7b vector plus 5c vector equal to 0 vector. Or these points are collinear. Yes. To learn this sum, we need a basic. Already basic is given to you. Okay. What is the condition that the three vectors are collinear? Yes. The condition that, listen, the condition that a vector comma b vector comma c vector are collinear if and only if x into a vector plus y into b vector plus z into c vector equal to 0 vector where x plus y plus z equal to 0 and x comma y comma z are real numbers also here x comma y comma z or none of them zero, which means x is not equal to zero, y is not equal to zero, z is not equal to zero, and uh, which satisfies x into a vector plus y into b vector plus z into c vector equal to zero vector. Then 
the given three points a vector comma b vector comma c vector are collinear now listen the condition that the condition that, the condition that a vector comma b vector comma c vector are collinear if x into a vector plus y into b vector plus z into c vector equal to zero vector such that x plus y plus z equal to zero and x not equal to zero y not equal to zero z not equal to zero also x comma y comma z are real numbers so which is a condition now listen to learn this sum first we need this basic the basic is the condition that the condition that the three points the three points the three points the three points a vector comma b vector comma c vector or collinear the condition that the three points a vector comma b vector comma c vector are collinear if and only if if and only if if and only if if and only if x into a vector plus y into b vector plus z into c vector is equal to zero vector also x plus y plus z equal to zero so that is a condition if and only if let us write in reverse x plus y plus z equal to 0 and x into a vector plus y into b vector plus z into c vector equal to 0 vector. Okay, if and only if x plus y plus z equal to 0 and x into a vector plus y into b vector plus z into c vector equal to 0 vector. Where where x comma y comma z are real numbers x comma y comma z are real or real numbers real numbers and x is not equal to 0 y is not equal to 0 z is not equal to 0 that is x not equal to 0 y not equal to 0 z not equal to 0 the coefficients x comma y comma z are not equal to 0 and x not equal to 0 comma y not equal to 0, comma, z is not equal to 0. Okay. Now, which is a condition, so let us keep it in the box. Is it? See, this quotation gives a formula, denotes formula. The condition that the three points, a vector, comma, b vector, comma, c vector are collinear, if and only if, if and only if, if and only if, if and only if x plus y plus z equal to 0 and x into a vector plus y into b vector plus z into c vector is equal to 0 vector where x comma y comma z are real numbers and x not equal to 0, y not equal to 0, z not equal to 0 which means x comma y comma z none of them is 0 so that okay this quotation denotes formula now come to our question here, given question, which is a given, it is a given condition. First, we want to verify that, listen, condition 1, this condition 1 we want to verify. Okay, first we take the given data. Given data is 2a vector minus 7b vector plus 5c vector equal to 0 vector. Okay, can tell me x comma y comma is it? Yes, very good. So, listen, here x is equal to, yes x is equal to a vector coefficient 2, a vector coefficient x, very good, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 2, okay, y is equal to, yes, y is equal to minus 7, y is equal to minus 7, is it equal to, yes, 5, is it is equal to 5, listen, x is equal to, x is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 7, is it equal to 5, okay, First, verify the first condition. Now, I want to verify x plus y plus z equal to. Okay, what is x? Very good. 2. y minus 7. z plus 5. Okay, which is equal to. Yes. 2 plus 5, 7. So, 7 minus 7. Which is equal to 0. 
What is 0? Yes, that is x plus y plus z equal to 0. Is it? x plus y plus z equal to 0. Therefore, 2a vector minus 7b vector plus 5c vector is equal to 0 vector. So, this, this second condition is satisfies. Therefore, the given three points are collinear. That's it. Therefore, the given three points are collinear. This is first condition. And the second condition also 2a vector minus 7p vector plus 5c vector equal to 0 vector. Therefore, the given three points are collinear. Therefore, a vector comma b vector comma c vector are collinear. Therefore, a vector comma b vector comma c vector are collinear. Are collinear. Hence, the answer. Children, listen. Now, 15th question from exercise 8.2. The position vectors of the points P, Q, R, S are first one, second one, third one, fourth one. There are four points and four position vectors given. Here, position vectors means with respect to origin mode, that is important. Position vectors means with respect to origin mode, that's idea, which is here four points given p comma q comma r comma s the position vectors of the four points are four vectors given position vectors means with respect to origin o the position vector of p with respect to origin o is given by op vector so first one op vector that is the points p comma the position vectors of the points p comma q comma r comma s are given by with respect to origin o first one is op vector okay Second one is yes, O key vector. Second one is O key vector. Okay, third one is very good. O R vector, which is O R vector. Okay, fourth one is yes, O S vector. O S vector. That's all. Listen. The position vectors of the points P comma Q comma R comma S are given by O M O P vector equal to O key vector equal to O R vector equal to O S vector equal to First you write the initial portion. That is O P vector is equal to O P vector is equal to Yes. I care plus J care plus K care. Okay. Next. O key vector is equal to Yes. That is 2 I care plus 5 J care. Remember here K absent. No problem. Okay. Third one is Yes, OR vector. <coughs> OR vector is equal to 3, 2, minus 3. That is 3A vector plus 2J cap minus 3K cap. Okay. Next thing. OS vector. OS vector is equal to yes, I cap minus 6J cap minus K cap. Yes. The position vectors of the points P, comma, Q, comma, R, comma, S are given by OP vector equal to first one, OK vector equal to second one, OR vector equal to third one, and OS vector equal to fourth one. Yes. Now, come to the question. Prove that the line PQ and the RS are parallel. So I want to prove PQ and the RS are parallel. Okay, any idea to find, uh, prove PQ and the RS are parallel? Yes, that is, it is enough to prove P Q vector is equal to lambda into R S vector, where lambda is some scalar. And the reverse converse also true. Suppose R S vector is equal to lambda into P Q vector, any one way. That is, if the two vectors are parallel, then the two vectors are equal, it is, any one vector is differs by a scalar. That is, P Q vector equal to lambda into R S vector, otherwise, Rs vector conversely, Rs vector equal to lambda into PQ vector. Okay, first I want to find the PQ vector, then Rs vector. Now, what is PQ vector? Yes, OK vector minus OP vector. What is Rs vector? Yes, OS vector minus Rs vector. So that is a initial work. Now listen. Now, first I want to find the PQ vector. Okay, 
P key vector is equal to very good. O key vector minus O P vector. O key vector minus O P vector. Okay, which is equal to what is O key vector? Yes. O key vector is equal to 2 i cap plus 5 j cap minus of O P vector. What is O P vector? Yes, i cap plus j cap plus k cap. O P vector is equal to i cap plus j cap plus k cap. Okay. Now minus going to multiply inside the bracket all the times. Okay. Minus i here plus 2 i. 2 i minus i. So which is equal to i. Next day, minus j. But here 5, 5 j. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So 4. 4 j cap. Next day, k of center. k plus center. Minus going to multiply inside. What is your answer? Very good. That is minus k vector. Minus k cap. Which is pq vector. Box it. Okay. First one pq vector is ready. Second I want to find is rs vector. That is rs. Now rs vector is equal to very good. Second minus first. That is os vector minus or vector. os vector minus or vector. Okay. Which is equal to os vector. Yes. os vector equal to 1 minus 6 minus 1. That is i cap minus 6 j cap minus k cap minus minus of or vector. What is or vector? 3 2 minus 3. That is 3 i cap plus 2 j cap minus 3 k cap. Okay, simplification yourself. Very good. Here minus 3 plus 1. So minus 2 i. Good. Next. Yes. Minus 2 minus 6. Totally. Yes. Minus 8 j cap. Next. Very, very good. Minus into minus plus 3. So plus 3 minus 1. Plus 3 minus 1 equal to? Yes, plus 2. Plus 2 k cap. Okay. Now, comparing pq vector and rs vector. Okay. Comparing pq vector and rs vector, here coefficients 1, 4, minus 1. Here coefficients minus 2, minus 8, plus 2. So, consider the first one. Here 1, minus 2. So, for our convenience, taking out a minus 2 because we want to make these two coefficients are similar. So, that is why which is equal to minus 2 of what is remaining? Yes, minus 2 of minus 2 common. That means remaining i cap. Next, very good. Plus 4 j cap. Next, very good. Minus k cap. If I doubt verification, please. Very good. Minus 2 in time, minus 2 i. Next, yes. Minus into plus minus 2 4 sorry 8. Very good. Next. Minus into minus plus plus 2k. Okay. okay. Now which is equal to minus 2 into what is bracket? Very, very good. The bracket is nothing but is a 1 4 minus 1. Which is equal to what? Yes, pq vector. Therefore, the bracket is equal to a pq vector. Bracket is equal to pq vector. Okay. Whose left hand side is RS vector. Children listen, Rs vector is equal to minus 2 in the pq vector. Now, very good. It is of the form Rs vector is equal to lambda into pq vector. It is of the form. Now, listen, now it is of the form. It is of the form Rs vector is equal to Rs vector is equal to lambda into pq vector. Lambda into pq vector. Therefore, pq vector and rs vector are parallel. Therefore, pq vector is parallel to rs vector. That is, pq vector is parallel to rs vector. pq vector is parallel to pq vector is parallel to rs vector. Hence, proof. Children listen. Now 16th question from exercise 8.2. Find the value or values of m. Find the value or values of m. So which is question mark? Find the value or values of m. For which 
m into i k plus j k plus k k is a unit vector. Given that this vector is a unit vector, unit vector is given. Okay. What is the definition of unit vector, please? Yes. A vector whose magnitude is one, then the vector is said to be unit vector. Okay. Here, m into i k plus j k plus k k. Here, no name is given. So that is why, for our convenience, let the given vector is a vector. Let the given vector is a vector. Okay. Now listen. So listen. Let let a vector is equal to very good. A vector is equal to m into i cap plus j cap plus k cap. Okay. Next step. Very very good. I am going to multiply inside. We get a vector is equal to m into i cap. Plus m into j cap, good. Plus m into k cap, okay. What is the condition? Yes, the condition is the given vector is a unit vector. We are given the name is a vector. That is a vector is a unit vector. What is the definition for unit vector? Very good. Modulus a vector is equal to one unit. Since a vector is a unit vector, therefore. Modulus a vector is equal to one unit. So since since a vector is a unit vector, since a vector is a unit vector, therefore its magnitude modulus a vector is equal to one unit. Okay. A vector whose magnitude is one unit, then the vector is said to be unit vector. Okay. Here are the results. Very very good. Listen. That is what is modulus a vector? Very good. Square root of. Square root of. Yes. Sum of the squares of i j k coefficients. Here m m m coefficients. Therefore, m square plus m square plus m square, which is equal to yes equal to one. Next simplification. Square root of. Very good. One, two, three. There are three m square. So square root of three m square equal to one unit. Okay. Any idea to simplify? Very good. To eliminate root, squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. Okay. Squaring on both sides. While squaring, root cancel. What is your answer, please? Yes. 3m square equal to 1 square. While well, squaring root cancel, and 1 square. 1 square equal to 1. Sir, okay. 1 square equal to 1. No problem. Uh, but we are asked to find the value of m or values of m. So m square left 3 goes to right becomes divided. Okay. Can you tell me next step? Yes. M square is equal to 1 by 3 because 1 square equal to 1. 3 goes to right becomes divided. Now next step, very good. M is equal to m is equal to m square equal to one by three. Therefore, m is equal to plus or minus square root of one by three. Okay, m square equal to one by three. Then we need m means m is equal to plus or minus square root of one by three. And the square root of one equal to one. Good. Divided by square root of three is yes root three. So, which is the required answer? Therefore, uh, there are uh, the values of m are plus or minus one by root three. Ends the answer. Okay, children, listen. Seventeenth question from exercise eight point two. So that the points a is a point of one comma one comma one, b is a point of one comma two comma three, and c is a point of two comma minus one comma one. Are the vertices of an isosceles triangle? Listen. So that the points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Are the vertices of an isosceles triangle? What is an isosceles triangle? Very good. Any two sides are equal. So to prove isosceles triangle, it is enough to prove any two sides are equal. So okay. First, vertices given A, B, C. First, let us draw the di diagram. Given given triangle. So let us draw the triangle. Yes, triangle. Let the triangle ABC. Given that ABC is a triangle, 
can tell me what is A is a point of? Yes, very good. A is a point of, B is a point of, C is a point of. A is a point of 1 comma 1 comma 1. Okay. B is a point of? Yes, 1 comma 2 comma 3. 1 comma 2 comma 3. Okay. C is a point of 2 comma minus 1 comma 1. 2 comma minus 1 comma 1. Okay. Let O be the origin. Okay. The position vectors of the points A comma B comma C with respect to origin O given by Yes, OA vector is equal to OA vector equal to I k plus J k plus K k. Okay, OB vector is equal to Very good. OB vector equal to I k plus 2 J k plus 3 k k. OC vector is equal to 2 I k minus J k plus K k. So which is the introduction. Let's we'll see. Let Let OA vector is equal to Okay. Let OA vector is equal to I cap plus J cap plus K cap. I cap plus J cap plus K cap. Okay. Next thing. OB vector is equal to. OB vector is equal to I cap plus 2 J cap plus 3 K cap. I cap plus 2 J cap plus 3 K cap. Okay. Next to OC vector is equal to. Yes. 2 I cap minus J cap plus K cap. 2 I cap minus J cap plus K Okay, okay. Now, we want to prove isolates triangle. It is enough to prove any two sides equal. Which means, we, we want, first we want to find AB vector, then modulus AB vector. Then, very good. BC vector, modulus BC vector. Then, yes, CA vector, then modulus CA vector. And uh, identify if any two sides equal, then the triangle is said to be isolates triangle. Okay, first uh, AB vector, then suddenly modulus AB vector. Now listen, AB vector is equal to, yes, second minus first, OB vector minus OA vector, which is equal to, OB vector equal to, yes, 1, 2, 3, that is, I cap plus 2 J cap plus 3 K cap minus OA vector. OA vector is equal to, very good. That is OA vector is equal to I cap plus J cap plus K cap. Okay. Minus going to multiply all the elements in the second moon bracket. Okay, what is yourself? Very good. Minus I here plus I. So cancel. 0 I. No need to write. Okay. Minus J. 2J. 2J minus J. So which is equal to J. Next. Minus K. Here 3K. 3K minus 1K. Which is equal to? Yes. 2K. Here, which is a b vector. Remember, here i cap absent, no problem. Now let us find its magnitude. What is magnitude? Yes, modulus a b vector. Modulus a b vector equal to square root of yes j coi b center. One the whole square plus of k coi b center. Yes, two the whole square. One can write like this also. Plus is zero i cap plus j cap plus 2k, 2k cap. Then modulus ab vector equal to square root of 0 the whole square plus of 1 the whole square plus of 2 the whole square. Also correct because 0 square equal to 0. So okay, which is equal to square root of, good, 1 plus 4, which is equal to square root of, yes, 5, root 5. That is modulus ab vector. Modulus ab vector is equal to root 5. Okay. So A to B complete. Now let us find B to C, that is BC vector. Now BC vector is equal to, okay, BC vector is equal to, yes, OC vector minus OB vector, second minus first. OC vector minus OB vector, which is equal to OC vector. Yes, OC vector is equal to 2 I cap minus J cap plus K cap. OC vector is equal to 2 I cap minus j cap plus k cap minus of ob vector what is ob vector yes ob vector is equal to i cap plus j cap plus 3k cap okay which is equal to minus going to multiply all the elements in the second one bracket okay start your answer yes minus i plus 2 so 2 minus 1 equal to i that is i cap okay next minus 2 Already minus 1, totally 
yes, minus 3, minus 3 j, next day, minus 3 plus 1. So minus 3 plus 1, yes, very good, very, very good. Minus 3 plus 1, equal to minus 2, minus 2 k k, which is b c vector. But we need, yes, magnitude of b c vector. Modulus b c vector is equal to square root of, yes, sum of the squares of i j k coefficients. That is, 1 double square plus of minus 3 double square plus of minus 2 double square, which is equal to square root of, yes, 1 square equal to 1 plus minus 3 double square equal to, yes, plus 9 plus minus 2 double square equal to 4. Okay, that is the total, yes, here, 1 plus 9, 10, 10 plus 4, 14. So, square root of 14, which is modulus BC vector. Okay. Now, okay, next I want to find, yes, A to B, B to C, completed. Now, C to A. One can find a AC also correct, AC vector or CA vector, because we are going to find a magnitude. So, that is why, whether AC vector or CA vector, but uh, let us uh, do cyclic order. A to B, B to C, C to A. That is C A vector. Okay. C A vector equal to very very good. Second minus first. O A vector minus O C vector. O A vector minus O C vector. Which is equal to. O A vector is equal to. Yes. O A vector equal to I plus J plus K. O A vector is equal to I cap plus J cap plus K cap. Minus of O C vector. Okay. What is O C vector? Yes, 2 minus 1, 1. That is 2, 2 i cap minus j cap plus k cap. As is well. Minus going to multiply inside. Okay. Now stop yourself. Yes, minus 2 plus 1. So, minus i. Next. Plus j. Plus j. Total? Yes. Plus 2 j cap. Next. Minus k plus k. So, minus k plus k cancel. So, 0 k. No need to write. That is C A vector. C A vector is this. Okay. But uh, now I want to find, yes, magnitude. That is modulus C A vector. Modulus C A vector is equal to, yes, square root of. Square root of sum of the squares of i j k coefficients. Very, very good. i coefficient. Yes, minus 1. Minus 1 double square. Plus of j coefficient. Yes, 2 double square. 2 double square. k coefficient. Yes, absent. Uh, 0. 0 the whole square correct, but no need to write. Okay. Now, which is equal to? Square root of, good, 1 plus 4. Is equal to square root of 5. Which is modulus C A vector. Okay. Now, three sides ready. Listen, first answer. Modulus AB vector equal to root 5. Modulus BC vector equal to root 14. Modulus CA vector is equal to root 5. And uh, now, what can you say about these three answer? Yes. Root 5, root 5. These two answers are equal. Which two answers are equal? Modulus AB vector is equal to modulus CA vector. Therefore, Modulus AB vector is equal to modulus CA vector, which is equal to root 5. Modulus AB vector is equal to modulus CA vector is equal to root 5. Here, which denotes two sides are equal. Therefore, triangle ABC is an yes, very very good. Isolus triangle. Therefore, triangle ABC is an isolus triangle. Isolus triangle. Okay. That's the answer. Now listen, in exercise 8.2, there are 17 questions. So all the 17 questions completed. And uh, uh, the homework is very simple. That is examples 8.4 to 8.10 homework. So first you complete the classwork, then continuously write homework, send it through WhatsApp. So homework. Homework sums. Homework sums are examples. Homework sums are 
examples 8.42, 8.10. So already model sums available in exercise. So examples 8.42, 8.10 as homework. Continuously complete your classwork. Send it through WhatsApp. I will correct. Then I will uh, verify where is the mistake. I will tell you. Thank you.